<laughs> hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Total Hyperfix Eight Podcast. It's, We're back, it's been a yeah, it's been a hot sec. Uh, thank you guys for being patient. Um, yeah, a lot a lot has happened since last time we recorded. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, we will be using this format going forward because I am no longer living in Oregon. Um, I moved to Reno about, I know I moved to Reno about two months ago. Um, Mm -hmm. and so we'll be using this format and honestly, I think it's going to work really well for us. I think it's going to help us not go off the rails. (laughs) I, I would agree. Um, yeah. And you get to see our beautiful faces. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want to explain the the how we're gonna do things now, Neems? Sure. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna have this thing we're gonna call the weekly burger. So we're gonna break it down like this. We're gonna talk about something that we're binging, something that's underrated, some more reading, uh, something that's gold, some we're eating or eats. And then some we recommend. So that in itself is going to be our burger. Uh, and just as this way, it gives us, you know, something that you guys can keep track with. We can ask you guys, what's your burger for the week? Uh, so, yeah, we're pretty excited about this. Uh, Dakota kind of came up with the idea of, like, having some more structure. And we just love the word burger. So <laughs> we uh. love, And we love eating burgers. Mm-hmm. I got my burger bracelet. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, we're going hard over here. So, uh, so yeah, Dakota, why don't you kick us off with what's your B? B binge. Um, well, I actually kind of have two. Classic. I know. So yeah, hopefully one... we can have more than one thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. It's, this is our good, podcast. Good. This is You're right. You're so right. <laughs> um, one, just a quick one. I've been watching Barefoot Contessa with Ina Garden. Garten? garden i don't know Mm -hmm. and she's just a queen she definitely like i feel like people have been posting her on tiktok a lot and so then Mm -hmm. i was like i need to watch some of this woman because it's been years and she's just hilarious got some good recipes she inspires me i like want to have a dinner party now thanks to ina and it's just like comforting you know like when you used to just put on like food network and like ina would come on or I don't know. Bobby Flay. No, I'm just kidding. Bobby Flay is not comforting to me. (laughs) Bobby Flay is not comforting. Absolutely not. No comfort from him. He's kind of scary. Mm -hmm. Especially because now now on Food um, Food Network, they always have like Chopped or like all these competition shows. And it's like, I just want to watch this lady in her Hamptons or in her Hamptons house (laughs) making like a cocktail or something i don't need to see oh, yeah. this competition intense stuff going on nah you just need something chill you want to figure out how yeah. to make some tasty food and mm-hmm. a beautiful setting and yeah it's the most funny like 2000s like, yes production like, it's so oh my gosh yes. funny. oh yeah and there's always a side story it's like her husband jeffrey she's like jeffrey's gonna run to the store for me and then it'll show him like at the store at the oh liquor store or something and they'll be like let me show you the gin and they'll take him over and he's like i'll take it and it's so <laughs> <funny>. <laughs> i'll take it I'll t- they like they literally just show it to him they don't explain anything i'll take it oh my god <laughs> so yeah that's one should i go to my next one or yeah, wait well, oh yeah. okay go well and i don't know if you've seen it i've watched it twice now um the barbie movie I'm yeah, counting that as my binge, so okay? Because have you have you seen it, Ian? Oh yeah, it was. Okay, it's wow. it's a cultural phenomenon. I know. For for once, you're on time. No, I'm just I know. Kidding. I know. I also oh. saw Oppenheimer, so I've ticked wow. both those boxes. Yay! Yeah. That one was really good too. Yeah, but but back Barbie, to Barbie. Well, I mean, I don't even know what to say. I feel like everything's already said that needs to be said on social media and the whole world but ryan gosling killed it margot robbie killed oh it gosh. and is the most beautiful woman on this earth i couldn't have asked for anything better yeah Seriously. what was what was your favorite line from that movie dakota do you have a favorite line oh man i'm gonna have to think on that 
Do That's you have okay. A I was just curious. Oh, absolutely. It was when <laughs> Ryan Gosling's like, when I learned the patriarchy wasn't about horses, I kind of <laughs> lost interest. I just died. Yes. I was like, yes. this is one of the funniest movies I've seen in a very long time. So I know. It's really crazy. It's so funny, so meaningful, so entertaining, so beautifully shot. Like, it's mm -hmm. perfect. His oh, yeah. I am Knuff. Kenuff sweatshirt, oh, yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. Those memes kill. Oh my movie. gosh, so good. Oh, Simu Lee also does so amazing. Like all the yeah. Barbies that they cast too are like, Incredible. we're just awesome. Oh, when when Issa Rae's character says, what does she say? But she says like WTF or something, and they bl they have to oh bleep put out Mattel the over her yeah, yeah her yeah. mouth. That yeah. was pretty funny. <laughs> That was that really was good. Mark's favorite part. Yeah. Nemo, do you have a favorite <laughs> line? Um, I don't know. I think just Alan in general. Oh, like every Alan scene was pretty with great. Alan, like yeah. when he goes and he's just like, the joke he makes about when they realize they can build the wall sideways. Yeah. So straight up, <laughs> that killed me for sure. Yeah. Uh, oh my God. When they're saving all the Barbies and he tries to jump over the like, two foot fence and he like is trying to get on a chair and they're like alan just go around and he finally gives up and has to go i forgot around. about that oh my god uh, i just watched it for the second time the other day so it was a little bit fresh oh it's so funny but, so good uh, yeah oh wait a question i don't remember somebody brought this up and i can't remember sorry if i was loud no, you're good. at the end okay when they're in venice beach when they first get there she's like I don't have a vagina like we don't have genitals but then yeah. at the very end she has to go to the gynecologist but i think i'm assuming it's because she like becomes a real woman or what at first i was a little confused but yeah i think yeah. that is correct that was that was so funny <laughs> my yeah, favorite line is then ken going i have all the genitals oh yeah yes that was a good one as well <laughs> that killed me Oh, and then Kate McKinnon's character too. Oh my Wait, gosh! She, yeah, I guess she's just weird Barbie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? Really why is she Barbie. always in the splits? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I swear I had those boots that she wears—the green snakeskin ones. I swear I had those for my Barbies oh my when gosh. I was little. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! That's too. Funny. Uh, um, but yeah, that's what I've been binging. Okay, all right. I like it. Yeah. I like it. What about you? What's what have you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I also have two things. Um, the first one is an anime that Chelsea and I w are watching. What? It's called Shocker. Classic. I know. Anime? Let me let me. Okay, it's called Undead Murder Farce. Um, it's real good. Okay, um, Undead Murder Farce. Yeah, it's um. What, how would I describe it? So there's this like immortal. Uh, person that gets beheaded and so it's just her head and so okay. this this like half monster guy is carrying her around and they're solving mysteries together uh okay. with her maid um it sounds weird but it's really stylized and it's like a period piece mm. from like sherlock holmes time and sherlock holmes does make oh. an appearance um oh. like vampires and werewolves are real um the fight scenes are impressive uh it's great that sounds okay. cool Nemo, i think yeah. you need to watch that yeah I'm that one's really on good anime grind for sure. well i mean i have someone pushing me to watch more anime so that helps a lot um, true. yes yeah um, and then the other thing that I've been watching that I've been really enjoying is um, Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Um, oh, I'm on season okay. two right now. I am thoroughly enjoying it. I think it's, yeah, it's scratching. It's scratching the itch that Doctor Who used to scratch and that like mm. just really creative one shot stories. So I enjoy that a lot. Um, but yeah, who's, that's what I've been watching right now. Like, Wait, is that like in that? Um, oh gosh, I can't remember his name. Let me look it up. Um, it's Commander Pike, but I can't remember. Oh, okay. wait, is that like the old school Star Trek? No, this is the newer oh. one, so it's on Paramount oh. Plus. Um, oh, okay. Christopher Pike is the character's Trek. name, and then oh, the actor is Sean Kenny, I think. 
Okay. I think. Okay. But yeah, it's good. Cool. I was thinking. I think I was thinking of Picard. Oh yeah, my my parents have been watching that one. I mean, but they also watch like the um, original season that he was on. Mm. They really are enjoying that one. I haven't gotten into that one yet, but I imagine at some point I will for sure. Yeah, but yeah, I know so little that's about what Star I've Trek. been watching. So that's the only thing I, I <laughs> only know slightly more than you. Um, my parents used to enjoy watching it, and Kyle is really big into Star Trek as mm. well. So yeah. That checks out. Okay. What about you, Neems? Um, yeah, my binge. It's Smosh. Oh yeah, dude. Anthony. I and can understand are that. Back together, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna like. I was excited. I watched their announcement video. I watched all their little things, and then I've just been going back and like watching since kind of where I left off, and they've added a few. Uh, new cast members which oh, yeah. i don't know they just bring a lot of new energy and i feel like they've really fine-tuned a lot of things and yeah. so i don't know i've just been really enjoying it and like it just feels good it feels like the internet is like healing it feels like <laughs> my two dads are back together <laughs> you know like, but, but you've been watching a lot of the older ones too like mm-hmm. When even when um, Anthony wasn't back, yeah, yeah, but just because just... I like kind of fell off, and I was like, yeah. I don't want, I don't know, I just, I got to a point in YouTube where I was like, have I grown out of what I've been watching? Yeah, I that's haven't. fair. Turns out you no. just needed a little. <laughs> Turns you just out need I just a break. Some time away. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like their um, funeral episodes are really funny. Oh, without a doubt, mm. the funeral roast. Tommy Bones kills it in those. Oh my gosh, so um, good. He's so good. I'm not eat it or eat it, uh, girl. Mm. I like eat the eat it or eat. That's those a good are one great. Too. And then there's the Bepperdy episodes. Those ones mm. also kill. Me. I don't know that I've seen the Bepperdy episodes. I'll have to check that out. They play Jeopardy, but yeah. they can't call it Jeopardy, so it's Bepperdy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> So there's some there's some pretty fun ones. Like I just watched one where it was like health class. So they're going over oh my like, gosh. like the the final Bepperty is like them going over a diagram of like the male and female reproductive and like riding in. It was it was pretty oh my cool. Wait, gosh. does Shane always host Bepperty? Shane is usually the host, yeah. Unless there's like a special guest or they're making him play. Mm. So but yeah, ah, Shane's my good. favorite. Yeah. <sighs> Who's your favorite know. cast member, Names? And Dakota. I think from the older cast, it's Shane. Yeah. But Amanda and Angela, they're like two of the newer cast members, might be my favorite. Like, yeah, I think, wait, Angela. I think Angela from the newer cast is my favorite. She's funny. Yeah, she is she like. She's very funny. I don't even know. I just feel like she brings this energy that's like so chaotic and refreshing <laughs> that like yeah. kind of Olivia has, but it's like much more like controlled chaos. Yeah, sometimes yeah. Olivia her jokes wouldn't wouldn't land. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think that she definitely does a better job of like putting energy into whatever mm. she's doing, and so it definitely has a lot more impact yeah and then like angela i feel like it's just the spawn of ian and anthony like if they had a kid it's her <laughs> like yeah. their personalities mix like and i don't know chance is also great i don't know it, oh, yeah. i've just been loving it because like angela and chance and arasha are all like pretty young oh, yeah mm-hmm and like Chance hadn't watched anything Smosh before he got. Oh my gosh! On. So for a while, he, he would like do jokes like, "Who's Anthony? Like, <laughs> why do you guys talk about Anthony? Like, I don't know. It was it was pretty funny. Oh, I love um, Tommy, but te- is he technically not? So there's jokes about how Tommy's not a cast <laughs> regular because he's still an editor as well. 
But he's on like so But he's many on things. a lot. But you get yeah. paid more or something. I don't know. It's kind of funny. And Spencer. I love Spencer. He oh, yeah. me up. He's he's great as well. Uh it's much just that's great. What I've been it is. It's like the the granddad of YouTube and it just feels good that it's like <laughs> it's back. <laughs> that um, is pretty great. But now, so that's so that's our B. That's 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 our binges. Now we're gonna head over down to our underrated. Um, mm-hmm. And Ian, why don't you kick us off there? Yeah. So um, I'm actually gonna um, shout out an underrated um, social media account that I have been oh, following for a little while okay. now that I oh. thoroughly enjoy. Enjoy. It's he's called uh, Blake of Today. Um, he's like this like dad with young children but like i feel like once or twice a week he comes out with these like like uh video essays that are also like a vlog of his week and it's like i don't know he's very well spoken sometimes it's like almost bordering on like spoken word and it's just Mm. the production like the production like quality for such a simple thing is just so good and it just every time i watch a video from him i'm just brings me so much joy Mm, that sounds cool blake of today blake Blake of today yeah he's really good i i thoroughly enjoy watching his videos okay and are they like a minute long or like 10 minutes like what's the yeah they're no they're like a minute long like it's a it's like a reel on instagram Mm. i follow him on instagram and so it's pretty digestible but it's just like words of wisdom or just like kind of like something insightful he figured out about his week or whatever or just like sharing like his interactions with his three-year-old and stuff like that it's cool but yeah he does a really good job it just sounds like some good wholesome content. I can oh, get it's that. it's some good wholesome content. I I love it, and you know how I feel about a good video essay. Oh, so, mm-hmm. yeah. Good old Captain Christian fans over here. Oh, good old Captain Christian. It made me think of Kid President. <laughs> Even though I know <laughs> Kid that's President. It's not like an essay, but just because there's so little wholesomeness, and uh-huh. and he was always so wholesome. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about him. Kid Kid president. president. What does he look like now? I gotta know. No, for Uh, how old is he now? Let's see. He's got to be popping on social media. (gasps) Wow. He's in college now. I'm sorry if you can hear my clickety clackety. His name is Robbie Novak. Okay. He was born in 2003, which means he's he's 20. Wow. He's about to turn 20. Dang. I hope he's still doing good things. It looks like it. It looks like he is doing good stuff still. When was his last post, though? March 22nd. Okay, so he's still coming up with stuff. Yeah, all right. Looks like he posted like a... What? Oh, yeah. Good old kid. Yeah, that's been great. Who wants wants to share next? All right, I can go next. Okay. Uh, My underrated is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. I think Ooh. that this movie is so good. Is it underrated? I think so. Because I think <laughs> animation in general is underrated. Like, I just think that there's just, like, negative connotation when it comes to animated movies that... I don't know. They're like, it's for kids, it's dumb. It's like, animation is art, and it's so beautiful, and, like, it can capture things that you can't just using a camera like you know so i don't know i just think this movie's so good and it just encapsulates them and their struggles of being teenagers and like yeah seeing what teenagers do like there's a scene where they're they like snuck out and are watching a movie in the park and it's ferris bueller's day off and it's like the parade scene and they're like that's what teenagers do <laughs> but I don't know. It just felt like so relatable of like them being like, wow, like I want my life to be like this movie. I want it to be like normal. Um, mm-hmm. And so I just think it captured that so good. It's only like 96 minutes. It's a quick in and out. Tells a really good story. Animated so well. Like really great action. It gives me and kind of. Uh, the characters. 
gives me kind of like Leica studio vibes. Is it Leica? Mm. The one that does the claymation stuff? Yeah. Like no, studio. it's not. I don't think. Oh, it, yeah, it is like a. It's L A I K A. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I don't mm-hmm. know. Fun fact about I... Leica. They're so, or like they're like Nike. Who's the owner of Nike? What's his name? Phil. Uh, Phil Knight. Phil Knight. Phil Knight. His son founded Leica. And those movies are so expensive to make because of the claymation, and they don't make that much usually and so phil obviously you know supports it but every leica movie has an exclusive nike shoe collab that comes with it that's cool that is cool yeah i really like the the ninja turtle movie (laughs) (laughs) no i would Yeah, I like the Ninja Turtle movie. <laughs> no, but I was going to say, like, I wish that there was more, like, you kind of said this, too. Just more, I don't know how to explain it. It just went really fast and went mm-hmm. right into the, like, plot fast. But, like, I would love to see them just, like, chilling more because they're just so cool. Yeah. I think if it was, like, maybe 10 to 15 minutes longer and we just got a scene or two of just them being, like, brothers and like having like brotherly struggles a little bit more i think that would have like like i gave it a four out of five but i think if it was that it would have been five out of five but i still love it i think it's so good and like seth rogan killed it the voice actors there's so many jackie chan i was gonna i was gonna say their that cast is stacked Mm -hmm. ice cube and then, like the actual kids that like are the voice actors do an incredible job, and so I just think more people need to see it. More people need to enjoy it. Well, you've definitely sold me on it. Um, it you know, it's it's not. I I live very close to a movie theater now, so it's not mm-hmm. really that hard for me to go see it. So. Yeah, come on, get come your on. butt. You see, get your butt over there. Me. That's like I two did Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I saw I saw Oppenheimer in IMAX. And wow. I was like, I was closer than I probably wanted to be, but we bought our tickets a little late. So I'm just like staring <laughs> up at the screen. <laughs> For those that can't see in uh, or aren't watching the video, uh, I was just staring at the ceiling because <laughs> I think that's like the first movie I've seen in IMAX too. So I was just like, this really? is massive. Yeah. Wait, you know what I heard? That there's truly only like t- maybe 20 real IMAX theaters in the country. And the rest are like, they call themselves IMAX, but they're not like actually the standards of IMAX. Oh. Yeah. I I, you could fact I check hear me, that. but. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think that you're, I think that you're right for the sake of um, Oppenheimer specifically. I think there are mm-hmm. like. 20 ish movie theaters that like have the um, frame size or whatever that yeah. they that's like ideal for uh, streaming that movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I bet it was close enough though. Yeah, yeah it was fine. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. It was really good. Yeah, it was really good. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just crazy. You walk into a three hour movie and you're like, oh my God, I'm going to be here forever. And then it flies by. Yeah. Well, yeah. that that movie did at least. No, without a doubt, it soared. It like. I mean, one thing I will say, obviously, we're getting off track, but for Oppenheimer, the sound design of that movie, oh my gosh, just like so good. It was great. There's like the scene where they're in like the basketball room after they've dropped the bomb. The gym? Yes. The basketball oh my gosh. room? Well, it's like they have bleachers that they brought out. So it's yeah, like not yeah. a real gym. I don't know. It was the 40s. So I don't know. So I think that's how they did their bleachers. But yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. in particular. Oh my gosh. So loud. It oh, was just like. It was stressful. Yeah. And I feel like that was really compelling. But. Yeah. I don't know. And just I like the. F- they... oh, Sorry, go ahead. ahead. Oh. Okay, I'll go ahead real quick. Uh, We're still just learning, like, guys. It's fun. Also, just like how they... Well, I, I won't spoil the explosion. Like how they did the audio for that because you need to experience it for yourself. Um, 
but that was also really good. Yeah. I don't know. Often in Christopher Nolan movies, there's like a spectacle, right? Like Interstellar and all these movies where it's like, oh, you need to see it on the big screen Mm -hmm. for it to like really hit home. This was the first one where I was like, I don't mind seeing this on my, like, I, I don't think it'd be that big of a difference just like watching it at home. No, I, I disagree. don't think so either. Really? I disagree. Yeah, the sound, like, you're only going to get it that loud in a theater or like, yeah, that specific. Yeah, I but guess I get what just, you got me there. I was thinking like just, the visuals. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. Just imagine all these people that have never seen Oppenheimer watching that movie on an airplane with headphones. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Oh my gosh. Well, that, and then, like, I think the one thing, I know, this is off the rails, but <laughs> the scene where, like, Florence Pugh's character, like, dies. Oh, yeah. Okay, why are you giving spoilers to everybody? Okay, this is a historical thing, like. Okay, did you know that? <laughs> did you know about her character before going into Oppenheimer? All right, well, if you haven't seen Oppenheimer yet, you're probably not going to see it in the theaters. <laughs> My bad. Spoilers for Florence Pugh's character dying in the movie. But I thought it was really interesting. There's like a still second shot where there's a hand, like a black glove that's like pushing her down. And historically, uh, they don't know if it actually was a suicide or if the FBI had her killed to stop distracting Oppenheimer and tie up a loose end. I think when comments. you edit this, you need to go back and say for the next one minute, it's a spoiler I'm, alert I'm not for Oppenheimer. To. That's not a big spoiler for Oppenheimer. It feels like. I, I mean, if someone wants to watch the movie without knowing anything, it's a spoiler. But here's the, okay. Who, wait, real quick. Who would want to do that though? <laughs> Uh, me, normal people. <laughs> okay, but it's when did Oppenheimer come out? Like I don't know, a month ago. Let me look it up. Not everybody sees a movie right away like we do. No, I know, but I think. But, but this is the Barbenheimer cultural phenomenon. <laughs> That's true. We did see it in one weekend. Both we we completed Barbenheimer. I can't believe that some people saw it in one day. Cause yeah, just like silly. the just just Oppenheimer was a lot. I yeah, like and we saw like... we saw Barbie first. I said I'm seeing Barbie first. Before... Okay, it's been out almost a month. Okay, can I say my underrated thing? Mm-hmm. Please do. <laughs> uh, my underrated thing is Diamond Dots. <laughs> Oh, yes. I've been obsessed with Diamond Dots again because I've been listening to an audiobook, which we'll get to in the next thing. Um, and it's just a fun little art thing. And I think probably not enough people do Diamond Dots. And it's really relaxing. It's a little tedious, but like, you know, when you just need to focus on it. And if you like art, like arts and crafts, <laughs> then I rec- then. Oh, wait, we're not recommending. It's just under underrated. Just underrated. <laughs> we okay. can, we can do this is our podcast, Dakota. You can You're recommend right. Diamond Dots. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it gives you that same like it scratches that itch of like almost like how Stardew Valley does, where it's like I'm just doing this like simple thing. Like mm-hmm. I have just a simple task. I don't have to like think too much about doing. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, let's go on to reading. All right, what are you reading, Dakota? Tell us all about it. Okay, I'm reading Throne of Glass, which I've talked about this before because I was reading A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Mm-hmm. And then this whole time we haven't recorded, I, have re- I read Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass, which is another series. Well, there's only two up, but the third one's coming out in January. And then the mm-hmm. other one that she has is called Throne of Glass. And it's like, it's seven and a half books. Damn. Because it's an, there's a novella. Oh, okay. And I was kind of nervous to start it, but 
I decided to start it one day. I've been listening to it though, but I still count that as reading. And I don't know. I was hooked from the first page. Like it's a, like this girl is an assassin and she's like in prison. But then this is just the first book. Like the king, she has to join this. Wait, like, wait, real quick, Dakota. I I think we might. I'm not spoilers giving a spoiler. No, I'm not going to give a spoilers. You can read this on the back of the book. All right. Anything you can read in the description is not a spoiler. I'm sorry. I'm just being a butt. <laughs> um, and anyways, the king of this land wants her to be his assassin. But then that's what happens in the first book. But then there's so much more. Mm. There's magic. There's. I would say you're getting a lot more into fantasy. Like really yeah. loving fantasy and like, yeah, I don't know, that's cool. So actually, I'm I'm pretty close to being done. I have I'm on the last three books, but numbers four and f or wait five and six. Uh, people recommend you tandem read them because they're happening at the same time. Ooh. But one of the books has like certain characters, and the other one has other characters. And there's this guide of how to tandem read it. And so I'm gonna attempt I just started, I'm gonna attempt to tandem read. Um, so I'll be done with those two at the same time. And then I'll just have the last one, which is pretty thick. The first few are not that big. But the last one is pretty thick. So yeah, I love it so much. It's all I can think about. All it's all I, all I want to do. I don't even want to physically read any books right now because I just want to listen. listen and diamond dots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll go home and <laughs> get diamond dots. <laughs> dip, 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 dip. We love it. Uh, Neems, you should go first. Okay. Uh, so I have been reading the Red Rising series. So we went on vacation. We went and saw Ian and Reno, which was awesome. And then we went to the in law to my in laws, Dakota's mom and stepdad, and I read th the first three books of the series. And I don't know what it is specifically about the way he writes, but it's so compelling. Like the first book is like Hunger Games and Game of Thrones mixed together but it's all narrative. And so it's just like first person view. It's so compelling. And I just loved that first book. It was awesome. Then the second book, I had book hangover. That could have told me about this. I had never experienced this before <laughs> where I would like really want to start the next book, but I was like, I can't like so much just happened in like the way, that, especially that the second book ends. It's crazy. And then the third book, incredible, so good. I loved it. I'm reading the fourth book and I'm listening to a little bit of audiobook as well. But there's like a 10 year gap in between book three and four. And it's like multiple perspectives. But I don't understand how Red Rising is like not a show on like HBO yet or like hasn't been made into a movie. I'm sure it will. I'm, I'm really hoping because it's like. I can just envision all the scenes so well and like, I don't know. It's just a property I think could be adapted so well and just like a really compelling story. So I don't want to give too many spoilers because Dakota hasn't read it yet and she wants to. So I'm trying mm -hmm. to not give too much away, but oh just my please. gosh, is it just incredible. Incredible. He wants me to read it, but then he gave our copy for someone else to borrow. So. But it's gonna be a little bit. Well, Dakota's also <laughs> diamond dot and through throne. Yeah, Dakota, so you are think... fully in this throne of glass. Series, yeah, that's so. true. Yeah. So and, it'll um, wait till after. And the last time she's told me she'd read a book I really liked was Percy Jackson. No, I never told you I would. You just kept trying to force me to read it, and then I did read it, but. You, they were. For, I read Name of the Wind like right after you told me to read it, mm -hmm. and you loved it. Yeah. So Ian, what I also read reading? that, and it was good. Um, the reason why I wanted you to go first is because I have also been working on Red Rising, although really? I am not 
done with the book. I'm not done with the first book. I'm listening to it, and I'm really only listening to it in the car on my way way to and from work. Um, okay. So I'm going through it slowly. I have like two hours left in the book, but oh, boy, oh okay. boy, it is it's so good. Um, I feel like that first book really is just like the way it like dissects leadership within a community is just like so mm -hmm. good. Um, Darrow is just such a good character. Um, I agree. Oh, without a doubt. There's some incredible characters in that first yeah. book that you don't know are incredible characters until the end and into the second book. Yeah. So I am so excited to finish it. I'm so excited to keep oh, reading. I can't wait. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a sci-fi, it's a sci-fi novel written with, I mean, I, I feel like I'm kind of biased, but I feel like I would say fantasy novels more often than not have better prose than a sci than sci-fi novels do. Um, mm. but this, this novel is, yeah, it's how it's written mm. and just like how the characters interact with each other and getting to hear Darrow's thoughts on things is just, yeah, it's so good. Um, it's interesting because yeah. I feel like it blends like fantasy and sci-fi really well. It blends or it toes the line of like being a YA like it has a lot of strong YA themes, but I wouldn't say it's a yeah. YA book. No. And so I just feel like it takes from all of these different areas and puts them all together and creates like such a unique thing. Yeah. I feel, I feel like it's like, it almost has a lot of the same contact content that a lot of YA novels do, but mm -hmm. like with like a more robust, just like, product like there's just mm -hmm. like more of everything like better better prose better setting better characters mm -hmm. not that why novels can't have good characters or good setting <coughs> or prose or any of that but it just is elevated yeah for sure yeah i read actually like the first i think 20 pages or like two chapters and i really liked that so mm -hmm. i am excited to to get more into it. I'm, I'm definitely glad that I revisited it, revisited it. Um, cause I had started it and listened to like 20 minutes of it. And I was like, I'm not really feeling this. And then I got like an hour or two into it. And I was like, why did I not keep going? Mm -hmm. It's so good. I feel like as soon as like the story starts, it's so hard to stop. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah so a lot of books you just got to get through the first little bit. Like, actually, it's kind mm -hmm. of a joke that Crescent City, people are like, just just basically skip the first 100 pages because you're not going to understand what's going on. And <laughs> oh, then, yes. which I don't, I don't remember struggling that much with it. But yeah, like, you know, when they have to like explain things mm -hmm. and like introduce all these characters that you don't know yet it's it's kind of hard to to read and get into yeah mm -hmm. i feel like world building like that's always tough yeah absolutely all right so now guys, we're gonna go gold that was what i was gonna say yeah which it's open for interpretation all right it's our podcast we make the rules but the idea being like what's just something good you know, something wholesome, some kid president type content, you know, <laughs> it's just like, what's something you want to highlight? You know, it just makes you feel great. It makes you feel gold. Uh, partially inspired because we watched The Outsiders recently. And so, you know, oh. stay golden, pony mm -hmm. boy. Uh, or stay, does he say stay gold, pony boy? Stay gold. Yeah. Okay. See, mm -hmm. I totally Mandela effect that in my brain for so long. I thought it was stay golden. But stay mm -hmm. gold. So there you go. So so you can, okay, wait. I know you're doing that, but I, I read the the Outsiders because and I had never watched the movie, so I didn't mm -hmm. even know what it was about. But I obviously knew about Stay Gold, Pony Boy, and I loved the book. Was obsessed, and then I watched the movie, and the movie sucks. But I just had to say that. 
I mean, yeah, the book is really good. I do not remember the movie at all, so obviously it didn't make a huge impression, but the book was great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Neam, so why don't you do your gold? Okay. Yeah. Well, this is like niche, but whatever. I have, for the first time in my life, sports goggles. <laughs> and I'm so excited because I can find, like, I love playing basketball. And we've been playing pickleball, which is also tying into it as my other, like, gold thing. But How did I forget to add that? I, I knew you would, and I'd bring it up. And it's because it's been, like, two weeks since we played. Yeah. <laughs> um, but just having that and being like, wow, I'm in a place where I can just get sports goggles and, like, wear them. And I don't have to worry about someone hitting me in the face or me, like, turning my face too fast. Like, I don't know. It's been such a treat. And I also look like a complete doofus with them on, and I just love it. So I mean, that's, that's been hey, a gold thing. You're 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 able to shoot hoops and play pickleball like a pro. So yeah, except I don't know. It kind of was messing your pickleball game up. <laughs> it was. It's like it's no, just, it's, you know, I wear glasses. They're like now, on. now between the two like teams, because it's you and Neems versus um, Vin and. Lexi. Mm-hmm. Lexi. Well, so, who's, sometimes who, who, some, we switch it. Okay. But between the two couples, who's yeah. who's better? Well. It just depends. It just at depends. At first I would have said them because Lexi and Vin has, oh, like Vin's been playing for a while and stuff. But this last time, didn't we win the three out of five? We always play best three out of five. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure we won this last time. So there we're getting go. up there. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say it's pretty close. Yeah, yeah, but we I usually mean, start good. with girls versus boys, mm-hmm. and then we go and then we do couples, and then yeah, but but then we were doing good, but then we we ran into Nima, our friend, and we mm-hmm. played against her and her daughter, and <laughs> Nima was sucking it up. All right, okay. uh, Nima. <laughs> so, here's the thing. So I'm trying to get a really good serve, and it when wasn't it just works, the serves, but yeah. When it works, man, it works great. It is good. Like, it's a killer serve. But the other issue that we're running into is there's not many pickleball courts. There's, like, one that you can play at, but it's usually really busy. So we can use tennis courts that have lines, but then you have to, like, shrink the net down. Mm. And so I feel like that, like, messes up, like, the consistency of my serve. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know. Excuses, excuses. But, yeah, I was having a rough time. It's because, like, the goggles, like, are... They, they like, give you tunnel vision? They give me tunnel vision, but they're not, like, flat. Like, it's not a flat Ooh. lens. So it really messed with my depth perception. Yeah. Because they're, like, curved lenses. That. So, but the more I play with them, the better, the better I'll get, for sure. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, just pickleball and sports goggles, you know? They just make, make me feel real good. I've been loving pickleball. Like, we've been really busy the last two to two weeks. So we, And, like, Lexi and Vin, who we play with, have been as well. So we haven't been able to go. But I love it. Like, it's seriously so much fun. Like, I know it's such a, like, thing. But it's, believe the hype. It's awesome. I love it. I love what it. about you, Ian? What's gold for you? Yeah. Um, so mine is I like just like this greater concept of like, you know, when you move to a new place, like just trying to find community. And I mm. feel like we're definitely like starting to find that. Like, oh, that's awesome. um, yeah. So that feels great. Like getting to know people at work and bonding with them. Um, we go to trivia with some of Chelsea's friends from work every week and go to play trivia. Um, I go to magic on I Friday nights and mm. have been making friends there. And then Chelsea and I also have been going to, to karaoke on Saturday nights and Ooh. are becoming regulars there. Um, not that I sing, but she <laughs> kills it. And we enjoy singing along to other people's songs. Um, How many shots yeah. do you think it would take for you to sing? It would take a lot. It would take a lot. Um, I have been asked more than once if I'm going to do it. And I'm just like, no. 
Um, I do not like speaking or singing in front of people. Um, so it would, it, it's, it's not my cup of tea, but it's very, I thoroughly enjoy watching Chelsea get up there and enjoy herself because she very much enjoys it. But yeah, it's just like getting to meet new people and like feeling like I'm not just like this person in this new place and there's not, I don't know anybody. Like I am know people now. And so, yeah. And just like getting to build those friendships and stuff like that has been really great. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I know we've been missing you. And so it's, I'm glad that you are finding some people and, I am, you know, I am missing you guys too. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm getting in my groove. Life is feeling like it's, it's, it's getting better. Um, I don't know if I told, did I tell you guys this, but I would, I told Chelsea, I was like, I feel like when I wasn't working, um, when I first moved here, I told Chelsea, I was like, I just feel like a dog waiting for you to get home from work. Cause I don't know anybody here. And I don't have anything right. to do. <laughs> so uh, I don't feel like that anymore. And I'm very thankful good, for that. Good, good. So, yeah. Good. What about you, Dakota? What's your gold thing? My gold thing is um, shout out to my best friend, Kelsey. Had a baby. <clears throat> and Jacob, which Kelsey's been a guest. Jacob has been a guest, but his episode did not air because we had some Trying. technical to get technical yeah. difficulties so he'll be on against or he'll be on someday he anyway they he'll had a baby yes. a month ago the day before my birthday she was born little cleo mm -hmm. and i just love her so much and it's been such a joy in my life to see her and hold her and see my best friend become a mom and she's just perfect and i love her so much so that's been making me really happy. And I'm on summer break, so I, I can go see her a lot right now. And mm -hmm. yeah, that's good. I'm they're excited. both they're both doing well. They're healthy and yep, mm -hmm. everybody's new healthy, doing well. That's good. All the new baby stuff of sleeping through the night is and everything that's going okay. Hopefully, yeah. Good yeah, job. I mean they have to get up, but they haven't said anything yeah. too bad. And they've taken it like she went to see the Barbie movie with them mm -hmm. <laughs> and Haunted Mansion, and uh, so like they're getting out of the house doing stuff, that's which good. I think that's good. Is really good. Yeah, yeah. It's nice that you guys and her parents <clears throat> live so close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and his parent or his mom does too. So yeah, there's lots oh, yeah. of people surrounding them that love mm -hmm. them and support oh, them. That's good. So that's good. Yeah, yeah. it's been that awesome. And all reports seem like she's a pretty awesome baby. She there is. you go. Like she she doesn't she doesn't cry unless she's hungry. She's able to go a lot of places, so it's been awesome. Yeah. It's that's funny because even even when my nephews and niece are born, like. At that point, I feel like I was still kind of scared to hold a baby. <laughs> you know, like just you feel like they always cry when you hold them. But I don't know if it's just because I'm older now or what. But I just like take Cleo and I'm like, come here, baby. Like throw her around. And yeah, so I'm just finally, throw her like a football, you know, <laughs> finally comfortable with holding a baby. So Well, that's good. Um, hopefully you aren't throwing her like a football. <laughs> no, um, I would never. I know you wouldn't. <laughs> hey, she even went to Applebee's with us last night. We all got unlimited wings, and Cleo was just chilling. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, she does sound like a really good baby. Is she's how old at this point? Like a month old, you a said? Month? Yeah, yesterday was a month. Damn. Yeah, she's, so she's still sleeping like she's... a lot. Well, yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> I wish I could sleep that much. Gosh. I know. I know. It's a life. Just eating yeah. and sleeping. Yeah. Sounds wonderful. Crying a little bit when you poop. <laughs> <laughs> Work and bills. Kid, you know? Gosh. Mm -hmm. Babies have it made. Not having to worry about either yeah. of those things. For real. True. For real. Oh, my gosh. All right, Ian. What have you been eating? Yeah. Huh? So um, so for eating, um, something that Chelsea and I got really excited about today because we went grocery shopping. Um, okay, okay. All dressed chips are back. Oh, they are ooh, kettle really? cooked, but they are back ooh. for a limited oh. time only. So it's not okay. like, uh, but they're back. And we got Where'd it they back. Go? 
they so they're they're originally a Canadian thing. <laughs> um, well, because yeah, I, I used to find them like every summer or so, and I haven't been able to find them. Well, so so they used to be they used to be like so they were a Canadian thing, and then Lay's was like, oh, this is really popular, so we'll just bring them to the U.S. and have them just be like a standard flavor that we do. And then they got rid yeah. of them out of nowhere, and they're still a Canadian thing, but they're not here. Um, huh. And I was I was like. I walk in and I'm like, you know, me with my limited edition flavors. I am like, oh, oh, I yeah. see, I see this blue bag off in the distance. I'm like, what is this blue bag? And I get closer and I read it. I'm just like, Chelsea, <laughs> they're back. <laughs> We're um, going to need to go to Fred they, they are kettle cooked, but honestly, I think I like them better. Like really okay, kettle okay. chips are pretty great. Um, they oh, are okay. obviously more crunchy. Um, but yeah, they're good. They they taste the same, which is all you really need. So, all um, right, I gotta go to Fred Meyer. Yeah. We're on and the hunt then, for another limited edition ship. Either. Yeah, I don't know if you've oh, heard. What of is this, that one? But it's the Black Series Dorito, spicy pineapple jalapeno. Whoa! No, I haven't. I haven't, haven't heard it. Seen it. <laughs> so there's a TikToker I follow that he like, or I don't follow, but he pops up. And he'll be like, here's the food news for this week. And I'll talk about all the limited edition flavors, like fast food or chips or different things. Oh, my and gosh. I, said, need to, I need to follow this guy. He's, he's pretty great. It said that starting in July, they would have these chips nationwide. I haven't seen them yet. But I need mm-hmm. to try them. They sound absolutely delicious. But back I mean, to I'm, not big, again, I'm so. not big on spice, but those do sound pretty good. limited edition, good. you know. I mean, it is limited edition. Um, and then the other thing, mm-hmm. I got one of those small cases of um, the Coca Cola Ultimate. It's a new, oh. mm-hmm. it's a new flavor. I have no idea what it tastes like, but it's good. Um, yeah. I would say it's probably the best of the specialty flavors that they've come out with so far. Mm. Um, Ooh, Which you think it's better the, than Starlight? I think it's better than Starlight. I mean, the bar is, I feel like, pretty low, yeah, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, I haven't really been blown away by any of them, but this one was pretty good. Like, yeah, it was good. Um, I couldn't tell what then, it was. Yeah, I have no idea either. I'm just like, some people are like, it's like peach or mango or banana cream, and I'm just like, it tastes it like it might like have Coke. a little bit of cinnamon <laughs> in it. Yeah. And that's about all I could like tell you. Tell you, yeah. Um, but you know, it was a limited flavor, and I gotta try it. So you gotta, you gotta. But do yeah, it. yeah. And then I also just bought a case each of the summer Mountain Dew flavors, and because I had been looking <laughs> for them. So. Oh, yeah, I'm that's like that. is that the one like we tried at your house, like the passion yeah. fruit one? Yeah, the passion fruit and then the guava one. I got one yeah. of each of them. So Yeah, yes. we haven't seen them since. Yeah. I really like the guava one. I like yeah, I like both. I think they're both really good. I think that um they're better than the pineapple one. Not that the pineapple one is oh, mm-hmm. was bad, but I think that they're both better than the pineapple one. For um sure. neither of them beat the OG Baja Blast, but no, they don't. You know that's hard to do. Ever will? I don't think anything ever will either. A lot of people disagree with me from what I've talked to people about Baja Blast. A lot of people apparently are not a big fan of Baja Blast, and I'm like, why? Really? Who are these people? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Good things. Yeah, I I I don't understand, but you know. People just are wrong, so it's okay. Yeah, people are wrong, and that's okay. But yeah, so that's what that's what I've been eating. I've kind of, yeah, that's what's been going no, on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that. I was like, oh, how do you transition? A b- Let's a b- transition. <laughs> Mine is, yes. it's actually a thing from TikTok. And it got like kind of popular. What? This girl would eat like this chicken apple sausage. With man, no, with cottage cheese and mustard, and then she'd also have like crunchy veggies like carrot, raw carrots, broccoli, cauliflower. 
And like when she would just eat those crunchy veggies, they were just, they looked so good. And so I, I did that and it's so good. <laughs> like I love cottage cheese. I love mustard, chicken, apple sausage, raw, you know, raw veggies, love it all. So I'll just eat it for lunch and it is makes the, me feel healthy the, too. <laughs> is the chicken apple sausage, is it hot or do you eat it cold? Yeah, I I like make that mm -hmm. hot. Okay. And then, so I keep it like on the side a little bit, but then I okay. dip it in a little bit of mustard with some Ooh. cottage cheese on it. And it's pretty fire. That sounds pretty Speaking good. Speaking of... We need some more, some more chicken apple sausage. Yeah, we need to go grocery shopping. <laughs> um, yep, that's my food. I like I'm, that idea. I've been obsessed all summer long. I don't know what it was. Actually, I do know what it was. We so Dakota's grandparents live pretty close, and they always have zero caffeine Coca Cola, or for whatever reason they had. Diet Green Tea Arizona in the fridge. And we were over there for dinner. And I was like, I'm just going to try this. And it that's was where it started. so good. Yeah, that's where it started. It was like, I just had a tall glass of it with dinner. And I was like, wow, this is actually way better than I thought. And so I was like, you know what? Next time I go to the store, I'm going to get a gallon of it. And I drank it. And we got these cups at uh, Costco, you know, nice little Ooh, beautiful. Pendleton tumblers. And like every other 20-something-year-old, we have a gajillion water bottles and cups <laughs> and things. But for every reason, this cup, this cup specifically, I drink out of every day. I'm addicted. Can't tell you why. <laughs> this cup. Because it keeps things but, cold. But I have other cups that do that. Like I, ha like, I have this exact same cup, but just like in different <laughs> skins, you know. But for some reason, that and the just the diet Arizona green tea, I've been loving. Like, I'll go to the store, and I'll have, like, two gallons, and the checks out lady will be like, so you're getting pretty old for retirement, or pretty young for retirement, because I guess only old people buy it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I'm just like, it's delicious. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I love it. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not a tea guy myself, but, yeah. That's about all I have to comment on that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Well, we're going to hit our last little R and the burger here with some recommendations. So, uh, you know what? I'll start off the recommendations. Let's do it. Go here. Okay. My recommendation, the thing I've been loving, spending so much time with, is Baldur's Gate 3. It is. Is that a game? Uh-huh. It's a video game. But it's D and D video game. Like it's awesome. The character customization is incredible. The different things you can do in the game is incredible. Like you can play with your friends or not. You can choose to play, to play a pre-made character that's in the story and go through their story or your own. And it's like had eight hundred and thirteen thousand people was its like highest concurrent player total. At one point, it just takes all the best parts of D&D and puts it into a video game. And it's, like, turn-based. It scratches so many itches I have for video games. But it also takes, like, the best parts of D&D &D and puts it into it. I love that. And I just love it. I'm obsessed. Like, it's great. Uh, it's all, like, Dakota's been obsessed with throwing a glass. This is what I've been obsessed with. Just, like, oh, it's so much fun. I don't know. Have you heard anything about it, Ian? Have you seen any TikToks? I, it's all over my TikTok. I've seen, yeah, I've seen some TikToks about it. I mean, it looks, it looks so fun. Um, I do not have any hardware to play that on at this point, so I'm just like, I guess I'll just wait. Um, one day, Ian. One day, yeah. One day, yeah. We're trying to decide between putting money into actually building a PC or buying a mm -hmm. Steam Deck. Um, okay. Both both are good options, but we haven't decided yet. So, Well, and what's cool is this game is also co-op, like couch co-op. So you can plug oh, it nice. in and play with controllers. So it's like oh, on the sick. PS5 and on PC right now. And I don't know, it's just like all the content, like people are doing crazy, silly things. It's just great. It's just great. Yeah. Like someone made yeah. a Harambe build. Like, 
just love it. I just love it. Oh my. Yeah, no, it looks a... super fun. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I need to watch some more gameplay because it does look really fun. Yeah, I think if you if you get it eventually, and you'll love it. Like it'll. Oh, I'm sure I will. I'll take I'm it sure off. I will. I mean, I love D and D, mm -hmm. and yeah, it it looks great. That's incredible. What have you been, or what's your recommendation, Ian? Um, yeah, so I have two. Um, I don't know if I've talked about the, this book previously on the podcast, but uh, Ooh, another Babel by R.F. Kuang. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Such a good book. Um, I think that this book should be read in every English class, like high school or college okay. English class. Um, it's like fantasy, but like kind of light on the fantasy and more like just like historical fiction a little bit more okay. um it's okay. about this like group of students at oxford um college of translation they're like they've like three of them have been like picked from where like other places in the world and like brought to oxford to translate these languages that they like grew up speaking um okay. and it's just like how it looks at like translation and language and race and appropriation mm. and colonialism and just like all these like really big topics. I'm just like, ah, they just do it so well. Um, I actually have it on my audible cause I got it from a friend. And so I will take your recommendation and read. Yeah. It. I def, I like, I, I listened to it and then I took a break and then I finished it and I was like, this was so good. Yeah, mm. it's it's really good. I think Sounds that, awesome. yeah, I think that as many people as could possibly read it should we read it because it is great. It's fantastic. And then my other my other recommendation is um, Mrs. Davis, the TV show on Peacock. Mrs. Davis. Okay. Um, it is about this nun that is fighting to shut down this AI. Um. This is one of the first TV shows that I have not looked at any spoilers for in a very long time. And my goodness, am I so glad that I did not? Because anytime you think you know what's going on, there's a twist. And you're just like, how could that possibly be what they were talking about? See how nice it is yeah. when you don't the get spoilers? spoilers? Yeah. Well, I it's think saying... that specifically for this show... It is worth. That's every is 100%. show. Hundred percent. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not every show. It's That's not every like the show. Point is like you no. don't know what's gonna happen. The point is, is is this worth my time? <laughs> and so, if you've watched the so first episode they... and you're not sold on whether it's worth your time or not, you just look at the spoilers and then you know. I don't understand. Uh, okay. Well, I'm just happy you're not spoiling yourself. Yeah, so um, that would be my recommendation. Um, it is wild. Um, it takes you on a roller coaster of emotions. Um, it is ridiculous um, mm. and wonderful. And it was so good. Peacock has been coming out with some bangers. That one, Poker Face. Oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I don't know about you guys. It's going to get real bare, and I'm scared for the content. Like, we're going to run out of shows. Well, no, we're not, because we have plenty of shows that are backlog, like, no, for us, not. that we need well, to watch. Boy, oh boy, if you guys are looking for anime recommendations, I know where to go. So, <laughs> you guys just let me I know. know. You, I don't know if you guys have seen the memes about the anime union. It'll be like... No. Oh, I support, you know, riders going on strike. Like, they should be paid even or equal better. Oh, yeah. Oh, I support actors. Like, yeah, like, AI shouldn't be able to take their jobs. And then it'll be like, oh, like, people who work in anime, like, the animators go and be like, oh, like, should we go? And they're like, no, you sit down. Or this is the final <laughs> season of Attack on Titan Part 5. Or it's Chainsaw Man Season 2. Or Hunter Hunter. Like, just, just, I don't know. It cracks me up. Oh, my god. all those memes on my For You page lately. Okay, my recommendation is these headphones. 
Oh, okay. or just big headphones because you know what? Get rid of your stupid AirPods. Sorry, Ian, you got little. Oh, it's okay. These are these are hurting my ears as we speak. So I would yes. love some over the ear headphones. Yeah, we got these on Prime Day. They were like half off, so that okay. was awesome. And it's just like all my life, little little earbuds have hurt my ears and so it's so nice to just do these over the ear ones these these ones specifically don't have great noise cancellation but i don't mind i don't need it to be like silent i like to be aware of my surroundings mm -hmm. you know yeah. um but yeah um get some get yourself some big headphones yeah you know i love these headphones like mm -hmm. sounds great i I um, do get a little sweaty around the ears if because I'll do them like while I'm doing yard work or something and my ears get sweaty, but I can deal with it. No, it's like incredible. Like I've been wanting XM4s for a long time, but they're pretty pricey. And I was like just looking on Prime Day and I was like, oh, Dakota, like these are like, I think they're like 50 bucks off like the XM4s Damn. were. And she's like, ah, I don't know if we can do that. And then no, these, these were 50% off, which they're yeah. like the next uh, level down from the XM4s. Mm -hmm. And I was like, so if we get two, that's for the price of one, basically. So, so we got And them. now you just and love them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Hopefully someday I will leave these headphones behind and get something <laughs> that actually is comfortable for my ears. You got to treat yourself. Yeah, the only I thing good about little myself. ones is like if you need... You know, like if I was at work and I wanted an earbud in, that's why I like kept my, obviously kept my um, AirPods, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I Gotta mean, conspicuous. Yeah. Yeah. Someday. Hopefully. Someday. Are those, I are those plug in or are they Bluetooth? They're, They're both. Bluetooth. Oh, oh, They're both. both. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh -huh. That's nice. Cause it's know, nice to be able to. Plug to... Them in. <laughs> you don't want them to yeah. die mid um mid podcast yeah, that's dakota yeah that's true and our or that computer doesn't have bluetooth capabilities on it oh so. yeah that's that's also a good point yeah they're super nice can't recommend them enough everybody yep. just treat yourself you know that's the biggest recommendation treat yourself yeah yeah all right guys oh, sorry, this is no, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> we're rusty, guys. It's been a while since we've done this. It has yeah, been a while. Yeah, but we're going to be consistent now. So yeah, catch we're us coming. In we're two back weeks. with a vengeance. Yes, we are. Without a doubt. In video. You'll see in us video. Again very soon. Yeah, we may no, have some clips us. coming for you. Yeah. We might and have some videos to share of things we're yeah. doing. Hopefully world. next time I will have a haircut. <laughs> Same. Or no, I just got a haircut actually. Yeah. So to see these things, you got to follow us on social media at Total Hyperfixate. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that is correct. Yes. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. And feel free to engage with us, comment, um, give us things to check out. Um, we love recommendations. We love yeah, to know what you're listening to or watching. Was. Yeah, please do. Yeah, we want to hear your weekly burger. Mm -hmm. And we will see you in two weeks. All right, everybody. Stay gold. Pony boy. <laughs> <laughs>